Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something pretty interesting to take a look at. We have a brand new version of the Adventure Force Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure actually came out at Walmart a few years ago, and I was really impressed with not only this figure, actually this one might have been one of the ones I was least impressed with, but still impressed for being an Adventure Force figure, but overall I was blown away by how good some of the other figures were in the line, and just recently I was walking through Walmart and spotted this one there, and it's a total totally brand new repainted version of this T-Rex and I instantly ran over and grabbed it and went to the section for the Adventure Force figures and kind of looked through it to see if there were any other versions of the dinosaurs that they had released out. Unfortunately, this is the only one that I could find so I don't know if there are any other repaints or new species or anything that they've released. I only found this repaint and I actually ran into it again after that. And again, only found this one, so I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if they have any other ones that are coming out, or if it's only this one that has been giving the uh, repaint treatment, but I was excited to see something new from this line, because it really does have a large amount of potential. There's some beautiful figures in this line, and unfortunately, they don't seem to be too interested in giving us new stuff for it as those figures have been out for a while now and we haven't really seen anything new finally until now with this repaint. I would love to see more new figures, actually new sculpted figures, but at least we got something here with this repainted version. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at this right now. Now this figure has a strong Jurassic Park feel to it. The sculpt overall is quite reminiscent to Rexy, kind of. But at the same time, it looks so much like the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex, like very, very similar. However, it's definitely not exactly the same. I have compared them in the past, and although they look very similar, there's actually quite a lot of differences between the two. So I kind of feel like maybe this was just based off of that, like maybe they used the Schleich Rex as their homework for creating their own figure and uh, just sculpted it looking at that figure because it definitely doesn't look like a straight up bootleg and if it is bootleg then they've done some major alterations to the figure but sculpt wise this looks to be exactly the same as the first version which was more of like a Lost World Jurassic Park kind of male T-Rex color scheme this time we almost have a Rexy paint scheme except we have blue running along the back which is a bit different compared to what you would actually see on a female Jurassic Park T-Rex but uh, we don't need to go over the sculpt again because we have already reviewed the figure. We just need to look at the new coloration of it. So you can see that we have kind of like a nice light brown here for the face. And they've given it a beautiful dark wash, which you can see showing up everywhere. One thing I really do quite like about these figures. You can also see as we lead up here toward the snout, we start to get a darker brown that kind of overtakes the top of the head. And we have a black striping that runs down, very Jurassic Park T-Rex-ish as far as that goes. You can also see that we have a darkening there around the eye with a black, not a super natural looking type of a darkening as it looks... Uh, very, very generic as far as the way that's applied, but it doesn't look terrible. And you can see that we have a yellow eye with a black pupil, but the paintwork of the eye is awful. And I don't know why it happens, because it seems like a lot of these figures have really bad eye paint, just really sloppy. Whereas the rest of the figure usually looks pretty good as far as the coloration goes. You could just see that there's just way too much of that yellow that's been added to make it look nice. And I normally keep my figures looking original, but... The eye paint is so bad on this one, I think I'm going to have to touch it up at some point in the near future and kind of uh, fix that area because I almost don't even like looking at it. The eye paint is so bad, but outside of that, the coloration looks pretty good. We do have an articulated jaw that's about as wide as it goes, so it doesn't open all that wide, but you can see we have a very dark, kind of like a maroonish or purplish tone of color in there, and you can also see that there on the tongue. You can't really get in there too far again with it not opening all that wide. We do have a nice gloss coat on the inside of the mouth as well, which is a huge plus for a figure like this. And the teeth are painted with kind of a light gray. They're a little sloppy as far as the paintwork goes. You can see they're not picture perfect, but they're also not terrible either. They definitely could have been a lot worse. As you start to lead back here a little further into the head, you can see a dark black kind of a stripe running over the top of the head. And then you lead back a little further, we continue with that darker brown, and we get the black stripe, but we also have little splotches of blue that kind of run along the back here of the Rex. And they kind of just have like big spots, except for here we almost have like a 
crescent moon type of a look and then we continue on with those kind of splotches and they do look really neat like they play off of that dark blackish tone there really nicely but as you transition down you can see how the black kind of stripes down and we head back toward that dark brown that we see up on the top of the head and that kind of runs down here into the arm also down into the thigh you can see some of the black running down here into the stomach region a little bit but you also see that lighter brown like we see up here uh, again, appearing here in the stomach region as well as down here, even some areas in the neck, you can kind of see it blending really nicely. And we also have that dark wash through the entire figure, which looks really good. You can see more of that kind of like light yellowish brown there. The underside has kind of like a light gray. And that as well includes that dark wash, so you can really see how nice that detailing and everything looks. Like, there is some gorgeous looking detailing throughout this figure. It really is quite nicely sculpted. And uh, as you lead down here into the thigh, you can see that we have more of that kind of dark striping, like a dark black striping. The light yellowish brown picks back up here in the front of the leg, down from the knee down into the shin. And you can also see actually the hand transitions to that kind of yellowish brown out there. And then as we lead down into the foot, again we head back to that kind of yellowish brown. You can really see that dark wash down here in the foot looks really cool. The nails are painted with a nice glossy black. Not super glossy, but it absolutely has a little bit of a glossy look to it. Same deal with the fingernails and the dew claw is also painted. And then as you lead back up, you pretty much have that same look as you run out the rest of the figure, as you have the black kind of leading down, some more of the brown, and then that kind of yellowish brown, and then that lighter color. So there's a lot of actual paint application to this one, and it's applied really nicely, and for the most part, the transitions back and forth and everything are really smooth. The figure as a whole looks really cool. I actually like how they've done it over here, where they have kind of like a little squiggle of that black leading down into the stomach so it's neat to see that there is difference from one side to the other side as far as the way it's painted it's not exactly the same kind of replicated but it really is quite the nice looking repaint i was pretty psyched to see this in there just to have a new variant of this figure because even though it's probably the figure i like the least from the adventure force figures at least it's something new with this line because again the figures are like solid they're really quite high quality feeling and they do usually have some pretty nice looking paint apps aside from the eyes so I was definitely really excited to see a brand new repainted version of this T-Rex and I'll keep my fingers crossed that at some point we'll get some other new paint jobs on the other figures or even new sculpts entering this line because this figure and the rest of them are actually really quite cool. Another thing that's good about these figures is they actually stand pretty nicely. They definitely have some nice balance. As far as the size goes, lengthwise you're looking at about 10 and a half inches or around 27 centimeters and then height wise I'd say just shy of 5 inches or approaching 12 and a half centimeters. So definitely nicely sized. They absolutely have some pretty good size to them. And to show you that for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. Kind of all bundled together here, showing you again that the Rex here from Adventure Force is a very similar size to Mr. Papo T-Rex, just obviously in a totally different position, but absolutely this should show you that they do have a pretty good size overall. And then for one more comparison, the only other comparison that I think we really need, we've got the original version of the Adventure Force Tyrannosaurus next to the newer version, and you can see that they look pretty much the same as far as the color scheme, just different tones of colors, as we have kind of like that same type of striping down the leg, we have like a uh, lighter tone and then a darker tone kind of blending back and forth, we also have the black that kind of runs along the back and then kind of stripes down into the body, and then kind of instead of like the yellow that we have on the original green version, we have a blue here on the newer version, so even though they look similar they're just different tones of color pretty much used and it sort of gives us like that male and female type of a look but the blue kind of gives the brownish one almost like a male type of a look at the same time but still again really cool to finally have two different variants of this rex so this brand new adventure force tyrannosaurus rex from walmart is pretty darn nice actually it's not great again it's not as awesome as you might find from some other companies that make similar figures but I never expect excellence from Adventure Force and honestly I never expected figures like this from Adventure Force 
Until those initial figures had been released, I was really, really impressed with how good those figures are. And they still are, honestly, absolutely awesome figures. Not the best in the world, but still really nice. And again, really nice for Adventure Force. But this new brown version is also quite nice. I think the sculpt, again, is pretty cool. It looks a little off compared to a Jurassic Park T-Rex, but you can clearly see the influence on the sculpt with it. And you also can see the influence from the Schleich Tyrannosaurus on this one. Coloration wise though again is pretty much the only thing that's different on this one compared to the older release and I think the coloration on this also looks really good. The tones of color they've used for it look nice and natural. The way that they've applied it also looks nice and natural and the figure even though it has darker tones still has a flashy look to it with those beautiful blues running along the back and the kind of nice light yellowish brown and they've given it a great dark wash which really highlights the detail again in a nice natural way. So even though it's not exactly what I would like to see from this line with Adventure Force, I would love to see new figures, not just repaints. At least, again, it's something, so it gives me hope that they're not completely abandoning the line and just creating that string of like five or six figures and giving up. Uh, at least we have something new, so hopefully they'll give us some new figures entirely soon, new sculpts or even more repaints for the others like the Allosaurus and the Carnotaurus and stuff like that, but... Regardless, though, it is still another fun T-Rex, so if you are going to be heading to Walmart sometime soon, I would recommend checking out the Adventure Force section and maybe grabbing this Rex for yourself because it's like $9. So for like $9 for a Rex that's this good looking, honestly, and nice, uh, pretty high quality, definitely worth a buy. So make sure you check your local Walmart, grab this if you can, find it, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.